Hello and welcome in Corno di Rosasso. My name is Luigi Colavini and I'm very pleased to have you here with me on this virtual tour of Colavini Winery. Unfortunately, today traveling is very difficult for everybody, so we had the idea to make this little homemade video for give us about equality in order to introduce you to our uh, winery and our house. Uh, before getting any further, I need you. I need to introduce to you the most important person of the winery. Here it is, Beppo, the last generation of Colavini duck sounds. Everything began about 50 years ago when my father had his first duck sound. Of course, her name was Rigola, and when she had, she passed away. He decided to put it on the label of, of our wines and it became a mascot and the trademark of our wines ever since. So please Beppo, say hello to our friends. Look in the camera, look in the camera, look in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the idea. We, you, we're gonna walk around the, the winery and the vineyards later on in this beautiful uh, spring day, very warm today here in Friuli. And just to show you a little bit uh, what, what Colavin is about and we are waiting for you here on person as soon as possible. Let's and here we are in the middle of the oldest vine vineyard of Ribolla Gialla. My father planted this uh, vineyard, which is stays in between our house and the, 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 the winery that you see here, about 50 years ago, when he decided to, to, to make his first Ripola Jalo sparkling. And this project started here, in this specific vineyard. As you can see in my back, there are some of our vineyards. Uh, on those hills and this building here is where the winery is and where we are heading now so just follow me we're gonna have a little break on the video because uh, we don't have enough time to do it all but you're gonna join me inside in a second so here we are in the winery finally uh, this is where we make our wines and we ship it in 36 countries around the world uh, for a total of one and a half million bottles every year. Uh, besides being producers of, uh, of white and red wine, we also make sparkling wine. We are the oldest and biggest facilities for sparkling wine production here in Friuli. My father, about 50, 55 years ago, thought Friuli really was a great place to make sparkling wine. And the back, the pressure tank that you see here, in the back, is where we make our most famous and iconic sparkling wine, Ribolla Gialla. Ribolla Gialla is the most ancient grape that has been grown here in Friuli, and my father was the very first one to make sparkling wine out of this grape. It's a unique sparkling wine made with a unique method, because it's the second fermentation takes place in these tanks, like Prosecco, but with the timing of a champagne because we it took about five years for us to make this uh, very special bubble. Okay, after uh, the second fermentation that takes place here for at least 30 months, then we let the bottle, the wine to settle down here for at least six months in order to get ready and ripe for the market. So I hope you will come over very soon and have not one but two bottles of or glasses, whatever, of our special model. Okay? Here we are in our uh, barrel room where, as I said before, we age mainly red wines. We used to do, years ago, we used to do more whites. But in fact, 
uh, it doesn't really belong to our heritage to age white wines in wood. Uh, it is here and, and the heritage and the way that we're making our white wines here in Friuli, it's more, we seek more for elegance, we seek more for, for balance, for minerality, more than body and and, and, and uh, wood and uh, barrel style white wine. So here, mainly we age our Merlot and uh, Gira Fosco and the Pignon. Uh, barrels come from France and from Slavonia, which are this, this area in Croatia, uh, where it's full of oaks, and we do produce, we do buy also some wood from there because, as I said, it belongs more to the heritage of the area. Um, now, after this uh, little tour in the wine, uh, we're going to jump on the car and go up on the hills and show you, and show you a little bit the landscape of our region and uh, the Collio region in specific, where most of our wines are made. Okay? So, uh, you're going to stay there, I'm going to jump in the car, and we're going to see up in the hills, okay? See you in a minute. And here we are in the middle of Collio. This is one of my favorite spots to explain you why. mountain still full of snow you have Slovenia over there where those houses are is already Slovenia and this spot explains you very much what Friul is all about a mixture of different colors their uh, culture sorry colors could work as well a uh, crossroad of different people going from the north northern territory were here, a lot of history in this corner of Colio. Uh, but going more specific into viniculture, what makes Friuli so uh, famous and so uh, suitable to make some of the most outstanding white wines in Italy, Friuli is also known and also called Burgundy Friuli because the complexity of the white wines that it comes out from our region is uh, minerality, acidity, length, freshness, okay? When, otherwise, the, 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 the wind blows from the sea, so from the south to north, brings more of warmth, of sugar, of alcohol, of size. The combination, the mixture of these two uh, climate zones, the clashes right here, makes and builds up in the wine uh, size and complexity in a word. It's very difficult to find places around Italy that it's, a, it's, a, it's available to deliver wines with, with the same volume, size, freshness, minerality in one word, complexity. This is all what Frivol is all about. We shouldn't forget the soil. of years ago and this is what the soil is about okay we call it here in uh, Friuli we call it Ponca it's um, what it used to be um, a clay that when it emerged from, from, from the water got solid which is not too solid because if you don't I, I just pick up the round one of course but if you can see here the rock gets very gravelly it breaks very easily from uh, uh, 
winter to summer from cold to, to warm okay and this allows makes the perfect soil for viticulture as you know vines like to have dry soils not rich soils so this makes a very dry and very drainable uh, soil but at the same time because these rocks were in the uh, under the seabed are rich in minerals and nutrients so ponca is specific and the best probably um, uh, soil to to um, to grow and make white wine especially so remember ponca with that said it's time to say goodbye of course I don't need to say that you're all welcome to come here as soon as possible as soon as all this will be over meanwhile please stay safe stay healthy drink wine possibly colavidi but uh, even the other ones will help and cheer up that everything will be soon over and you will be uh, going back to your lives in the same i hope in an even better way from now it's all from friuli i say i give you a big hug and i say ciao ciao to everybody Surprise! I'm back. Not alone, but with Beppo. He just told me that we forgot something very, very important because we spoke about everything, but we forgot to speak about the wines. Funny, huh? And especially, I want to describe you very quickly, me or Beppo, we'll see, uh, the portfolio that, we, that you're gonna present to your clients in, the, in this next future. Starting from the Grigio Spumante. It's the oldest and uh, most loved sparkling wine by my father. It's his first creation. It's made with uh, Pinot Grigio and Chardonnay. So it's a Prosecco category, but it's a, you know that Chardonnay makes best, better bubbles than Prosecco. So don't tell the people from that Veneto, but this is better than Veneto. Pinot Grigio, Pinot Grigio at its best, made with the grape that you saw, ca that comes from the area that we ju you just saw up there. Um, it's a richer, creamier, much stronger Pinot Grigio than any one that you tasted before. So first you taste it and then you let me know if I'm right or wrong. The Broy, the Broy is not only Trebicchieri, it's not only 90 points in spectator is not only that but it's also one of the best white wines that comes out from Friuli and for sure the king of our white wines it's um, it, um, it's, 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 a, it's a blend of Friulano that gives the typicity Chardonnay of course that gives uh, the strength the power and Sauvignon that comes in the wine like uh, a splash of color and gives all the brightness to this to this wine. And then just mentioned the Friulano. The Friulano aka Tokai. That was the, that was the name that we used to, to, to that we used to use before the Hungarians told us that we could that we, that, that we have to stop. Doesn't matter. The wine is still great and is the most popular wine that we that is for free William people. If you go out, you ask for a glass of white wine. This is what you get. It's, it's in the heart of all free William people. Taste it. Last but not least, the Refosco, the only red wine in the portfolio, was this was my my grandfather most loved wine we were able to smooth down to melt to make the tannins of of the of the the big tannins of refosco smoother and uh, softer and making this wine which is uh, the perfect you like it too eh? the perfect summer red in a day like today when the sun is out you want to sit on the patio having maybe barbecue or maybe 
a, a, a fish dish with some tomatoes and so and you want to bring maybe this slightly chilled okay so this is all it's over maybe if you see me again in this video just switch up the computer okay bye